really liked it. I did too. Me too. What do you think, Madeline? Over. I liked it. Okay, good. Okay. It's different too. Yeah, it was different from the stuff that we read, which I think was good. Yeah. I've never even read like a book of essays before. Yeah, me neither. I didn't really know anything about this book either. I just kind of like picked it because I saw some reviews were like, yeah, it's funny. So I guess it was good luck. <laughs> and it was funny, but like serious at the same time. Like I don't like when stuff's just like stupid funny. Right. So, but there was actually some substance there. Right. Okay. So I read some just general questions. If you had to pick a favorite essay, which one would yours be and why? You want to stick. I agree. <laughs> I thought that was really funny, and I thought I could relate, because I will probably be a bridezilla, and <laughs> I will probably will be a bridezilla, so. I don't know. <laughs> and I feel like I've had so many conversations with people lately about people getting married, and, like, I'm really sick of it, but it was all, like, very relevant to the things we talk about, so. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. It was, it was funny. Yeah. I really like the Ursula cookie, too. I don't know what it was about it, because fortunately, like, I haven't had really bad experiences at jobs, but, like, just something about the way she was, like, relating to people and, like, the way it ended, it just, I don't know, I, I really liked that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could relate. I'm always intimidated by, if I ever have a boss or anything, like, I'm always just intimidated, so I kind of relate. Yeah. Me, too. <laughs> Even if they're not me, I'm just always, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> scared of them. I've never tried to make a cookie of my boss. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, might have, I might be like, you know, a cupcake version of Dr. Bumgarner come up sometime. I don't know. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Yeah, I don't know what I'd be like. What was your favorite, Danielle? Um, I don't really know. I liked the pony problem just because it was funny. <laughs> yeah. And then I liked Bring Your Machete to Work Day because I got all, like, nostalgic. And I was like, oh, Oregon <laughs> Trail. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. And then I really liked um, Smell This, too, which was, oh, that was, <laughs> <long>. <laughs> it was so bad. But I laughed out loud so much during that one. So I guess that would have to be one of my favorites. <laughs> I could re I could relate to that one kind of yeah just like not like was that the one where they don't like your friend's boyfriend uh -huh. yeah I really like that yeah. yeah I feel like the ones like best are the ones where you can like relate the most mm -hmm. our experiences definitely you guys all thought this book was funny right Here, yes. let me see if yeah. I could find <laughs> yeah that's unfortunate Brittany didn't like it because she could relate to you on a stick since Danny changed his last name I know. <laughs> There was the whole Mrs. F.U. and, like, you that, that was That was just <laughs> weird and almost unbelievable. If this wasn't a true story, like, that would have been unbelievable, you know? Yeah. But I just cannot believe. Dude. I kept thinking everything's true. <laughs> it's weird. What? Do you think everything's true, or do you feel like she kind of, like... I don't know. I don't think everything is, like, completely yeah. true. I think she probably, like, embellished once she had oh, yeah. to frame the story or something to make it a better story. Yeah. I don't really care because it was funny. Yeah. So. yeah, exactly. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. It reminded me, that part reminded me of that Friends episode when Phoebe changes her name to Princess Consuela. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of reminded me of Friends in the, well, cause you talked about how it's going to be an HBO series, uh -huh. possibly, and it reminded me of that just because Sometimes friends would just be, I mean, some things did carry over into each episode, you know, but sometimes just be like random funny stuff, and that's yeah, how I felt this was kind of like too. Yeah, yeah. The part in the pony problem when Sloane Crosley goes, what am I asking when I ask for a pony but to be taken for more unique than I probably am? And I thought that was kind of like a recurring theme throughout her essays, that she wants some sort of identifying trait that's completely unique and defines her as a person. Mm -hmm. And I asked what you thought. And this is what Brittany said. And she, like, agreed. And then she just said, she reminds me of a small child with a great need for attention. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought that was kind of amusing. Did you guys think that theme kind of was repeated throughout the book? Or was it just me? I could see that. Yeah, once you said it, I could see it come up in quite a few of the stories. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I didn't think that right away either. But... Once you said it, I understood. Okay. Okay. Especially when she wanted to have, like, her kids born in Belgium or I something know. and have yeah. that specific trait. And when yeah. she went and moved to Australia, having that something special mm -hmm. and specific about her. 
Yeah. But, like, and on the same token, like, I don't think, I think that a lot of people, you know, have that kind of, you know, you want something more exciting in your life. And, exactly. you know, and I feel like it was just her more creative way of putting that, you know, not necessarily self-centered, but, like, she just had a lot of crazier, like, bigger dreams than maybe, like, you and I would come up with. But, like, I don't know. I thought it was cool. And she also lives in New York City, and with that many people, it's hard to be unique at all. Right. 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 Exactly. I think it's a legitimate thing. Mm-hmm. But maybe Brittany will experience that in Boston. <laughs> maybe. I guess we can move on to Christmas in July. And that was the <laughs> one where she goes to uh, camp. <laughs> and even though she's Jewish, basically, it's, like Christian. it's basically a Christian camp for girls. They all got life. That they was my favorite life. part. Because yeah. yeah. I've had some bad situations with life, so... <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> it always like is funny when other not funny when other people get it, but it's relatable too. Yeah. When I was younger, my whole softball team got lice because we all shared helmets. Oh. Oh. oh my God. God. Um, I didn't think about that. That was bad. That would be really bad. I just I don't. But what you said about oh, sorry, this is jump to the next question, okay. but go for it kind of the underlying meaning of and then I found God I didn't know if she was mocking the situation or I, I didn't get that last yeah I didn't really I mean get I it, didn't get it either. I think she meant for it to be something like kind of mm-hmm. significant but I um I think Brittany actually responded to that one and she says that she doesn't know and then she goes, the final line slash conclusions that all her stories work up to don't ever make much sense to me. But she thinks, um, she guesses that her mother is God because she makes the rules and takes care of everything. I guess, That's like, true. in a way, that makes sense. I just never would have thought of that on my own. Yeah, me neither. But That's I'm glad true. she thought of that because, I don't know, I was really confused by that one. That was the only one that didn't quite make sense to me. Yeah, because she talks mm-hmm. to her about her mom, like right in the beginning like having sparkles in her nails or something that she was wiping something up and she's like and then I found God so mm-hmm. yeah I can kind of see that oh, I put cars online I was kind of confused because the idea was that her mom was basically telling her like you, like you need to forget everything you just learned and so I was confused because it was kind of like it was like more like the absence of something right then, then there being something so like I guess it would have to be her mother 